Immersed Robot. Hello everyone, welcome to Immerse Robot. So I've just been playing a little bit of No Man's Sky in the Oculus Quest 2 using Airlink and again I was just impressed by that Airlink sharpening uh, that they've got going on on the version 33 of the software on the Oculus Quest 2 now. So I just wanted to make a quick video. This is some footage that I recorded directly on the Quest 2 just while I was playing and it just highlighted to me some of the benefits like the stars that I'm looking up to at the sky and stuff like that these are really highlighted by this extra sharpening you get in this uh, version of the oculus software and it really is impressive i've been playing no man's sky a lot with the valve index lately um, and i'm sort of expanding my settlement out you can see the base just behind me as well that I've, i'm sort of expanding out a little bit i'm, I'm sort of dipping in and out uh, managing this stuff on this planet while i do other things so it's sort of slow progress just a few hours a week managing this stuff really but it's it's still interested me but I will say that by using the Quest 2 and Airlink, the experience is really very good at the moment. I know Airlink has had some issues in the past. Um, in various updates, it's sort of almost been broken in, in various places where it keeps disconnecting and things like that. And I've had a few problems myself off and on um, over the past few months with Airlink. Nothing major, but um, I know some people have had some quite major issues with it. But at the moment, it's running really well for me. I'm just running this footage on an AC router in my office. I do play it on an AX or Wi Fi 6 router as well in my home sometimes, and I sort of play various titles and No Man's Sky being one of them recently um, in my quest to over Airlink but generally this is a game I play on Index along with something like Elite Dangerous which I made a video on using Airlink and the link sharpening feature just a few days ago as well and um, so I've been trying a few different games but this one just highlighted it to me some of the benefits of the link sharpening feature and it does look really good and I could quite happily play No Man's Sky using this method really and um, there are not that many problems that I had and general performance in No Man's Sky as has been the case over the past few updates really it's, it's really performing quite well for me and so using the better performance in conjunction with a great Airlink experience as well it's not a poor experience at all and it works really well I remember going back to my original Airlink and uh, comparison with virtual desktop video that I made a few months ago and when I tried No Man's Sky then the performance wasn't nearly as good as it is now in No Man's Sky and it was causing issues with both Airlink and Virtual Desktop. It was playable, but it just wasn't a fantastic experience. Whereas now, I can quite happily play this without issue. The only thing is, you, I will notice um, occasionally, like with this sharpening feature, it almost gives this effect of, I don't know if anybody's done image processing, um, with where you add a sharpening filter on various pieces of software on the PC to, to sort out images and, and pictures and things like that. You do get this effect where it's, it's difficult to describe it's just something on the edges of things it's almost like a, a, a form of anti-aliasing which has gone too far in the opposite way I can't really describe it but people will know what I'm talking about if you apply too much sharpening that's the effect you get on various images and this if I go into certain menus and things like that I do see that a little bit but it's I'd, I'd still take that rather than the slightly muddy slightly blurry image of the old link effect really um, I'm I'm much happier with it now. The only thing, you know, the, the, the usual limitations of the Quest 2 with the limited field of view, and when using video encoding, you do get slightly washed out colors and things like that too. But, you know, it's not enough. These are sort of nitpicks. It's not enough to really mention that this is a bad experience at all because it's really not. And like Elite Dangerous, you know, I'll be playing far more of No Man's Sky in Airlink from now on too because it's a great way to play if I'm just in my home and I want to pop the Quest 2 on and play half an hour of No Man's sky it's really no hassle so i'll probably end up doing that too a little bit more but i just wanted to share that and some further thoughts on the link sharpening uh, feature in version 33 of the oculus quest software still really doing a great job for me um, and i you know let me know what you think of it if you've tried it and what you think of this sharpening feature i wouldn't say it's like an absolute night and day thing um, but i do think it's definitely a benefit and does make the overall experience uh, far more compelling with airlink um, especially in games like this which are just performing great with the airlink anyway but that's pretty much it for this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time please consider supporting immerse robot on patreon or joining the discord 
or following me on Twitter, or better yet, all of the above. Links in the description below.